Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu faces a battle for political survival in a closely fought election on Tuesday that could end his 10-year domination of national politics. Opinion polls put former Armed Forces Chief Benny Gantz's centrist Blue and White Party neck and neck with Netanyahu's right-wing Likud, and suggest the far-right Yisrael Beitenu party could emerge as kingmaker in coalition talks. The two main parties' campaigns in Israel's second parliamentary election in five months point to only narrow differences on many important issues, the regional struggle against Iran, ties with the Palestinians and the United States, and the stable economy. An end to the Netanyahu era would be unlikely to lead to a big change in policy on hotly disputed issues in the peace process with the Palestinians that collapsed five years ago. Netanyahu has announced his intention to annex the Jordan Valley in the occupied West Bank, where the Palestinians seek statehood. But, Blue and White has also said it would strengthen Jewish settlement blocks in the West Bank, with the Jordan Valley as Israel's eastern security border. The election was called after Netanyahu failed to form a coalition following an April election in which Likud and Blue and White were tied, each taking 35 of the 120 seats in the Knesset, or parliament. Netanyahu, 69, has cast himself as indispensable and blighted by voter complacency over his tenure, the longest of any Israeli prime minister. He was prime minister from June 1996 until July 1999 and has held the post since March 2009. Haggett Cohen, a 43-year-old social worker, said she would back blue and white rather than her former favorite, the now fringe Labour Party, I don't want my vote to be wasted. Gantz may not be perfect, but enough is enough with Bibi, Netanyahu. Gantz also worries about public apathy. Interviewed by Army Radio, he urged Tel Aviv residents to put down their espressos for an hour and vote, a nod to the secular, middle-class constituency he hopes to mobilize against pro-Netanyahu religious nationalists. There is a definite sense of fatigue. Many Israelis are fed up with the politicians, or expect more of the same, said Amats Asa L, research fellow at Jerusalem's Shalom Hartman Institute.